it's a bullish title for this Bitcoin video. This is Bitcoin zoomed out on the weekly. There is a macro indicator that is signaling very bullish. Macro zoomed out. If you're okay with having a macro bullish conversation, this video is for you. But I just want to say, kind of intertwined in this bullish story is maybe potentially some short to midterm bearishness. And I want to break down all that data and show you exactly the trend that Bitcoin is in right now as it relates to this very bullish signal. So please hit the subscribe, hit the like, let's dive right into this data. This is Bitcoin on the weekly. And we're actually, we're gonna, as we dig into this data, we're gonna go all the way back to like 2013 even. All of these data points really signaling where Bitcoin is right now and what might be next. So this is an article kind of describing what's going on. Bitcoin's realized price on cusp of flashing major bullish signal. Now, this indicator that we're discussing on this zoomed out, this realized price signal is something that happens very few times over the years, right? And we're going to look at what that looks like. The crypto's realized price looks set to cross above the average on-chain acquisition price of long-term holders, indicating a prolonged bullish period ahead. We're going to look at a, a very nice illustration that just shows you what this is saying. Bitcoin's realized price is the average value of Bitcoin supply calculated at the price at which coins were last moved on chain. The long-term holder realized price reflects the average on-chain acquisition price for coins held outside centralized exchanges and not moved for at least 155 days. I want to show you this chart. This is what we're looking at. Bitcoin price is in black. Realized price is in blue. Long-term holder realized price in green. So what we're seeing here, let me zoom in a little bit. We're seeing this potential cross of realized price in blue coming above that green line, the long-term holder realized price. That's the bullish signal that we are looking for. And you can see it happened last cycle, circled in red before the major bull run. It happened the cycle before that, before the major bull run. It happened the cycle before that, before the major bull run, going back to 2013. The chart shows the blue line representing the realized price could soon cross above the green line. So the markets, and again, I say this all the time, the consistency on Bitcoin charts, they're just, it's just insane to look at the consistencies. So these macro signals, to watch the consistency of those happen, like this one, the realized price signal, really cool. But as we dig into the data, yes, on the zoomed out on the long term, incredibly bullish for this next cycle that we're going into, especially as this next halving approaches. But if we really start looking at, well, though that signal, right? When we're looking at this chart, when this was happening, what did Bitcoin actually do? Not in the long term. We know what will happen in the long term, all time highs in the next cycle. What did it do in the short to midterm? And this is where it gets interesting. This is kind of where it's like, all right, patience, a little bit of a warning on the short to midterm, potential downside on the short to midterm. But if you're a long-term holder, if you're a long-term thinker, this is still bullish. So 2019, it was June 2019 that signal happened, right? And look at this. And we've been doing a lot of comparison to this move uh, compared to where we are in Bitcoin. But look, Bitcoin getting ready to fall. And the fall that I, I want to track there is kind of swing high to this swing low. It's a 52% fall for Bitcoin after that incredibly bullish signal hit, Right. The macro bullish signal hit, Bitcoin fell 50% or so. Now, if we go back and we look at bullish back here, 2016, look at this. This was right before Bitcoin, maybe a week or two. I'm not sure exactly the week that that bullish indicator went. Bitcoin fell 40 some percent to the downside, right around 40% to the downside. Go back to 2013, even. Bitcoin put in that macro signal, that bullish, crazy signal, and you can just see Bitcoin went parabolic, but even in the short term, it actually fell as about 20% or so. Every time this indicator has signaled, Bitcoin actually pretty close, like pretty close to when it happened or just weeks later, basically has fallen. And that leaves us with a question right now. And this is something that we analyze when we're talking about short-term analysis. We have targets to the downside all the time, right? We have targets that we've just been tracking. I mean, if I go to a six-hour chart, just look at this. We
we have even this higher low area for Bitcoin that is in play. This is a six hour chart. This swing low back here to the swing high, Bitcoin does have downside, right? Bitcoin could hit $24,000, $22,000 testing this higher low area of support. That would be a fall from where Bitcoin is of right around 18%, ultimately a total fall of around 28%. We know that's in play from these short-term technical analysis targets. But when we go to the weekly chart, it becomes interesting to just get that dynamic in play just in your own mind for me as I'm watching this, right? Because I sit here and I know that I'm long-term bullish. We have the halving coming up. We have so much happening in terms of Bitcoin and crypto offering now a true adoption use case to the world and the macroeconomic failures of the financial system, right? That's in play this cycle more than any other cycle. So the scarcity factor for Bitcoin, I think, plays even more into what could potentially happen going into the next cycle, similar to what we saw before. But interestingly enough, even as we have all these bullish indicators, even as we have on-chain metrics signaling this bullish indicator, that same exact bullish indicator also signaling potentially there is downside in play. And the question is, and this is a different answer for everybody. As I sit here, you sit there, we, we, we absorb this data. The question is, how do you approach that, right? And for me, I like to just know, hey, I am macro bullish, but I know there's downside in play. And I like to see bullish indicators that are macro bullish indicators that even say there's downside in play, namely this indicator right here, because it just helps me prepare for downside. When we look at these short-term targets, these mid-term targets to the downside, they become more possible and real when we start looking at indicators like this that are bullish, but potentially short-term bearish. So this is all a preparation tool, everybody. It's a visualization tool. I'm not here to predict anything of what's going to happen next. This is me just tracking the journey, tracking the charts, tracking the data, and trying to find and navigate my own way through these charts. But I would say this. The most important point for me as I'm talking about all of this is the very fact that Bitcoin is on schedule, almost identical to previous cycles. And if it was going to be almost identical and continue that, that reflection of previous cycles, it would actually see more downside, right? If that signal really triggers on this chart, previous or similar to previous markets, we saw downside. We just need to be ready for downside. Maybe it doesn't happen. We have a lot to track from a technical analysis perspective. All of the convergence of these moving averages below Bitcoin right now, the 20 week around 25,000, right? The 50 week all the way down here around 22,000. There's a lot going on on all the charts. But one thing that remains true and I think important for me to remember is on the macro, zoomed out, on schedule, on track, Bitcoin's bullish in the long term. And that really just helps me navigate through all of these markets. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below what you think about this, please hit the subscribe, hit the like. I hope this was valuable to you on your own crypto journey. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.